you're talking about Russian lips or in general? Uh, it is in general, but especially if we talk later about the Russian lips, we pay a lot of attention to the middle part of the lips. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is a little bit about uh, correct proportion of the face, golden ratio. If we talk about proportional upper lip and lower lip, it should be wine for 1.6. میگه در داریم در برای نسبت صورت صحبت میکنیم و اگر نسبت لب رو بگیریم یک به یک ممیز شیش باید باشه لب بالا به لب پایین And if we talk about the lips it should be correctly between the nose and the chin That's why it's very important sometimes before you make a lips make a chin because it's the correct proportion on the face میگه اگه به نسبت بخواییم دقت بکنیم خیلی هم مهمه که لب وسط خط پایین بینی و چونه باشه یعنی لب زیاد بالا نباشه نزدیک به بینی یا یعنی اینکه لب زیاد پایین نباشه نزدیک به چونه و به خاطر همین وقتی میخواین لب رو تزریق کنیم بهتره که اول اگه نیاز باشه چونه رو روش کار بکنیم Okay, uh, to, uh, now we should talk about different shape of the lips because if we have natural good lips, it's a very difficult to do something wrong. Miguel, uh, when we have a tabi, it's different. Uh, excuse me, can you repeat, please? <laughs> if the patient has a good lip shape, natural, mm -hmm. it's a very difficult to make a wrong injection. But if he had a difficult shape, thin lips. میگه که اگر لبش مثلا نازک باشه خیلی باید با دقت پیش بریم که درست ترجیح کنیم. Now we start to talk about different shape of the lips. The first it's very often thin upper lip, thin upper lip and heavy lower lip. میگه در پرده ی لب های مختلف از آن به بعد صحبت کنیم و چیزی که خیلی زیاد پیش میاد لب نازک بالا و لب سنگین پایین. In this case, we should attention attention to the upper lip and do injection like this technique. It is like the fan technique. میگه برای این کیس توصیه میکنم که بیشتر تمرکزمون رو لب بالا باشه. And if we saw the patient have already a good cupid's board and a good filtrum, we should make injection more lateral to make upper lip more wide. میگه وقتی یه همچین مریضی هستش که وسط لبش خوبه و به خصوص فیلترومش قشنگه بیشتر لاترال یعنی گوشه بیشتر گوشه تر تزریق کنیم که لب و پهنتر و گنده ترش بکنیم Yes, if we saw the second photo, it is immediately after injection. We saw without swelling, without bruises and I uh, talk you later how we prevent this. میگه این درست عکس بعد از تزریق و نه bruising and bruising swelling کبودی و باد زیادی نکرده و بعدا درباره صحبت می‌کنیم که چجوری این نتیجه رو به دست آوردیم. The next please. Uh, if we saw this lips, it's a very popular. In Russia it's a very popular to be honest. It is thin upper lip and down tone lips. Even for the young people, we see the down tone corner of the lip. میگه که در روسیه ما خیلی لبای اینجوری میبینیم که لب نازک بالا و داون ترن یا, یا مثلا لب سنگین پایین میگه اینم تکنیکش دست راست که چجوری تزریخ میکنیم Polite to the patient, not so painful, and uh, you do injection two millimeters deep in the medium layer of the skin. Mm-hmm, the next please. Why? 
I cannot. Okay, uh, this is injection in two steps. If the patient have the thin lips, uh, I prefer to make injection in two steps. The first step, one milliliter HA filler, and the second step after four, maybe in this case, six weeks. Okay, the next please. Uh, this is the same, small lips, disproportional lips. Uh, we saw that uh, upper lip is very small and the distance between upper lip and the nose to long, it's not correct. Uh, that's why we pay attention on the corner of the lips. Usually we don't do like this. Because this part, to be honest, this part, the cone of the lips, if we talk about Russian lips, it's forbidden. But in this case, we should make the lips more wide because we saw it's a very, you know, short. It's a very short. That's Me why we do injection in this side. Okay. Is it, uh, the second place? Uh, this is uh, very rare. To be honest, it is the thick, uh, uh, thick upper lip and thin lower lip. We saw disproportional, very long distance. It's a good chin, but it's very long distance between chin and the lower lip. We pay attention to the, this part. And it is important, it is the fan technique, that we do only one point injection and do the vectors uh, from one point. We don't make two points, because if you, do, if you make two points, the filler can go uh, away. The what can go away? the <laughs> Okay, and the next. Uh, Let me run play? it. You can play yes. the video. Okay, it is the interesting technique. I think you know this. It is one point. Uh, you do only one point with the cannula. It is cannula, uh, 25 gog. You can use 27. And uh, you do only three vectors and have lips without edema, without bruising. میگه که لب میخوایم کبود نشه وکتور تکنیک با کانولای 25 یا 27 میتونید استفاده کنید و در واقع سه طرف میرید با کانولا از یک ورودی It is the, uh, the point here 2 mm near the corner near the کمیسورا 2 mm از کمیسورا فاصله داره Uh, it is uh, one lips, it is the aging lips, uh, this uh, woman, the patient, she is approximately 55 years old and in this case we shouldn't do a lot of volume. You should uh, make a fine lines here to improve the quality of the skin and do the natural shape. <laughs> Can you please repeat the last part, doctor? Uh, we do this injection with cannula, 25. Cannula with sponge. Mm -hmm, and it's very important because you saw this picture immediately after injection. It is without rehabilitation. In mm -hmm. And we improve. Uh, you, you can, yes, you can move the video. And... Uh, the video, it's okay, I will explain. Let me see if it works on this. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Position is not right. Okay, it's a very important when we make the... Mm, one minute. 
when we make this point near the commissura of the lips, uh, I can draw, okay? Because. <laughs> Uh, because you can make one point and do the level falls and lips and renovate all this area. It is the lips, for example. And I will explain Russian lips here too. It's more easy. The nose, yes? What's about the aging? The commissura is toned down. We make the point here. It is to me, it's cannula technique, only cannula. And since one point, we do vectors here on the border between cutis and lips. Then the second vector is here. It is medium part. And very important, the third vector between dry and wet. And since this point, we should immediately do injection like this to the nasal labial fold. It's like the fan. And if you have uh, down the corner of the lips, the next point, it's here. That's why in one point we improve all this area. Can you translate in Persian, please? <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. you understand. Yeah, no, I, I think you know, yes, yeah. because yeah. Uh, you're... Thank you. oh, okay. Okay, the next. The next, finally, finally Russian lips. Uh, it is the good proportion of the face. And it's better. Yeah, you need to let me fix it for you. It is a good. Okay, it is a good proportion of the face. And it's better. Really good lab. And uh, if should I help you? And if we talk about the lips, if we talk about the Russian lips, we should mark lips before. Uh, for us, it's if we talk about the Russian lips, for us, it's the most important, the essential part of the lips. Lab Russi, Markazish for some of the Markaz Lab. We pay attention to the Cupidon's bow. Uh, then we mark the lips like the central part and the corner. Corner for us is not don't interesting. Mige Gushe Lab, Barma Mohem Nistesh. Russian lip. Uh, then we pay attention to the this part between the cupidon bow. Cupidon bow un uh, uh, mm -hmm. And we never do injection in this part. It is the center under the cupidon bow. Zero cupid bow asan Because if you do injection here, uh, for us, you cannot make the very good shape like this, like V. میگه این شیپ وی رو دیگه نمیتونیم به دست بیاریم وقتی اون زیر کوپی بو تجریح میکنیم uh, what is this russian lips russian lips it is a plain sexy lips focus on the central part and to be honest uh, in russia it popular during past three years میگه که لب ساده خوشگل و تمرکزش به وسطش باشه و در واقع سه چهار سال گذشته خیلی معروف شده and uh, the guy who invented this technique, he was the distributors of fillers. Yes. After him, a lot of doctors uh, start to do this in their practice. And uh, the uh, next uh, name of this, it is the Instagram lips. Yeah, Instagram lips. Uh, at first technique, we will talk if our patient have natural good lips, like in the first photo. I will draw here and the same. No, no, please, uh, before. It is the natural good lips, for example. You already have the good V line. And for these lips, it's a very important when we make this point to do 
all vectors in one point. Don't uh, put your needle away. Uh, you do the first vectors to the border of the lips, lateral and central part, mm. and the middle, the uh, next. Uh, this vector it's additional. It's not important for all lips. And if you want to do more volume, you should do this vector more low between wet and dry part, not here. Here for the natural result. Can you repeat again, please? Uh, when we make this vector, it is additional, not important for all. Okay, and then? And then, for the natural result, you should make it in the middle of the lip. Uh, for the more high sexy shape, you should do between wet and dry to this area, lower. Lower lip is always the same. It is one point here, and we do vectors like this. Two vectors, yes. Avoid this part. Don't forget, please, avoid this part. If you do injection here, it will be very wide, like, you know, like in a fish. It's not good. This part is avoided, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, the next, please. Mm -hmm. uh, if we uh, saw thin lower lip and down tone, we do the vectors like this technique. Not only one here, but the fan here too. Like in the this part, we do the same here. Let them help you to fix the microphone. You it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, you cannot hold all. <laughs> it's okay. You can bend it a little bit and it will stay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, if we have the shape, because uh, a lot of girls, they have the shape like this. Not very good shape, yes? And we do point here, vectors here, important their board and their board, and the next here, and do, uh, if you do, if you want the more shape, you do a lot of vectors. If you do naturals, you do only three, four. But please remember, this technique, Russian lips, is very traumatic. That's why it's always with the edema and bruises. You can tell the patient in advance about this. It's important. Because we do very, very superficial injection. Please, it is the natural result. It's only we should make the V here in this area and only two bows. It's enough. Two bolus here because she has already a good lower lip. Uh, because if you make bolus, it's less traumatic for patient. And if you don't need to make a big volume, it's quickly less traumatic and uh, more easy way. Okay. And don't forget, please, that Russian lips, it's a little bit disproportional. It is one, one, because upper lip, it is the same like the lower lip. Uh, I think it's not, yes? We repeat again about we repeat again about how we draw the lips. 
and about the proportional of the face. Because Russian lips, it's more wild than normal. It is one and one. The normal is one, one zero point six. The next, we saw the eyes, yes? The normal lips, it's like here, the middle. Mm -hmm. The Russian lips is always more wider, like this. Mm -hmm. uh, then, we should uh, mark the lips, and uh, we say the L as one, lip superior one, it's important. میگه مارکش میکنیم لیپ سپریا یک مهمه لیپ انفریر وان لیپ انفریر یک اگین ذیس پارت لایک ذی سنترل اف ذی آیس فوربیدن بیکوز این ایوری پیشنت ایس ذی دیفرنت اند ذیس وای یو شود مارک ات شود نو هاو انجکشن هاو وی یو شود تو دو بیکوز ایوری پیشنت ایس اندیویدوال میگه هر مریضی هم با هم فرق داره به خاطر این خیلی مهمه که دقیقا بدونی and lip superior to for the upper lip LS2 برای لب بالا for lower lip for lower lip it's only the middle part لب پایین فقط ناهیه وسطش the next video it is I think they're not reading too Try mm. please? No? Mm. Okay, we will see on the models. Doesn't matter. Today we will have Russian lips. Uh, the next result. We work only with the upper lip. Lower lip, only little to microbolus in the central part. Uh, and very important thing, if we have gingival smile and very thin Hyperstructure, upper lip. Like in this picture, you should in one session mixed injection with botulinum toxin. It's a very important to make a good result. Mige was a very important to botulinum toxin mixage book on it. Yes, it is the point. Yes, it, it's the point how you should make it. Uh, the, uh, it is uh, the next, please. It is muscle. What muscle should uh, uh, have participation in the, this gingival smile? It is Natalia. It's a very famous Russian supermodel. She lives in Paris now. It is muscle zygomaticus, orbicularis oris, and miriformis. Miriformis is near this area, near piriformis. Uh, the next, please. And this is a technique how we do it. Fine technique. And very important, deep, superficial, and very superficial. It's the three different technique in one side. Yes, set a technique. Ham zaman estefade mikonim. Amir, sati, vacheli sati. And uh, one minute. I please pay attention here <laughs> to the <laughs> to the flip chart. Uh, how we do injection? How we mixed? Fillers with botulinum toxin. Here, in the desk. <laughs> yes, we will, uh, we do already Russian lips, but then we do very superficial four point, uh, two points here, two points here. Uh, what kind of bottle toxin you have? Botox, Dysport, Xamine, with what you walk? This port, perfect. This port, it is two, two units. But you dilute it like normal, yes? 500 to 2.5, like normal dilution, not concentration. Oh, concentration. <laughs> for instruction, for instruction, yes, like always. Uh, because if uh, you do these points, it should be more upper and more perfect result. Even to here, but be careful with these points, two units here and here, because it should be more wider. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, about complication. Uh, it's a very, uh, only in this technique you can 
see the superficial infection sometimes and fissura on the lips. You saw, because it is a very superficial injection and the gel can go away. That's why you should do only one point and vectors like here. Uh, the next, uh, it is a video, it is, uh, it is not my patient, but um, does it matter? Yes, it's, uh, it's written. Uh, why it's like this? You saw that she, it is the after injection, the next day, the gel is all run away. It's not migration, he runs away because the doctor make uh, each line for different point. That's why, of course, it will be like this. It's not migration? It's not migration, no. He run away because it's a very superficial. And if you do a lot of points, he go away through these points. It's not migration. What do you mean it will go away through these points? Uh, the point through the needle and he run away. He push on the lip and all get gel. Uh, get out, get out again. Yes, uh, get out. Yes, exactly. Uh, it's not migration. Migration migration is not just because he has a lot of points from different points. He has a lot of points from different points. He has a lot of points from different points. He has a lot of points from different points. He has a lot of points from different points. Uh, visualization of the filler very very uh, important and very often and for dyes granules because if you do a lot of volume more than one milliliter per session you saw these white granules for lips yeah I get the out jealous for the sure for dyes granules that uh, visualization me Michelle did complication machine uh, it is a Tyndall effect very often too to the Paris Hilton. We see the fillers, bolus, migration of the gel, vermilion, the border of the cutaneous part and the lips. And the Tyndall effect is the blue. The lip is the blue. Tyndall effect, Kelab uh to upper vermilion border. In Russian lips it's a very uh, very popular and very often because we do injection very superficial. That's why you should be careful to avoid this tindal effect. effect Russian lips the next please. Uh, the same, we saw the same, especially when the patient starts to talk. That's why important to make the bolus with disport here, with bottle toxinum. It makes the muscles not so active. Uh, the next please. Uh, this is disproportional lips. Uh, because we saw, you know, it is there for a long time, she make injection for the lips, and we saw that uh, it's really small chin, big lower lip, and uh, not looks good, not... We are proportionate, the cut not Not tell her such, yes. Um, we, uh, well, we make uh, this injection to the models. Again, one point injection, very important one point, Vectors in the different layers of the skin, superficial, intradermal, you like the dark in the skin, in the different, different layers. Blanching, blanching technique, very, very superficial. Uh, you even can see the gel, the white border, then you immediately do a little bit massage in this area. Blanching. And for good results, prefer 30 g -Oak. Because 27, sometimes it's so traumatic, you cannot do it very properly. Because the good shape of the lip depends how good, how often you will make these vectors. If you do it very, very, very often, it will be more upper, yes? If we do like this, with a big distance, it will be only like the half of this. It's a very important to do very carefully. Uh, and uh, this is uh, European uh, uh, medicamentation. I don't know if you have here or no, but we uh, tell the patient uh, uh, before injection, put etamzilat. Etamzilat you have? Dicenon, calcioglucanate, something like this. Etamzilat darin to Iran. The drugs. 
you have in Rano? Something like this. It's reduced the bruising. Okay, Arnica Montana, it is a homeopathic medicine, like Dromel gel. You have, it is with granules. It's really reduced this edema, swelling, and bruises. Arnica bruises. Has to Iran, or Arnica in Warsaw, Arnica. Arnica. Uh, something similar? Something the same to reduce, yes. Antihistamines, oh yes. Okay, about lips, uh, it's all, I yeah. think, yes. Uh, we, uh, Move forward to Joe. Yes, we should shortly about uh, the jawline. Uh, the very important uh, low part of the face, you know already all anatomy, the second place. Mm -hmm. For us it's most important in caesura here. When we touch the bone, uh, we, only, we always palpate the patient. We touch the bone, see it in caesura here, okay, it's forbidden line. Yes, it is the face artery. Okay. If we, mm -hmm, the second, mm -hmm. it is uh, the veins, the artery of the face. Mm -hmm. Next, uh, mandibular ligament. All what we should do to the lower face, it is to improve this area and put the gel on the bone. Supra periosteum. But we should pay attention about the volume not more than two milliliters because we saw the marginal mandibular branch it's a lot of artery vein and uh, nerves here we should avoid, avoid compression in this area mm -hmm. Uh, technical nuances, it is supraperiosteal, always, if we talk about the needle. If we talk about cannula, it is upper the muscle, it is intradermal. Uh, intra or deep dermal? We will do both today, the bolus and cannula, we do the both technique. Uh, no, I mean with cannula is intra intradermal. Or deep hmm? Intradermal and, and deep dermal or only? Only intradermal, okay. only intradermal with cannula. We give about cannula uh, intradermal, and about needle uh, supraperiosteal. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next. Uh, if we talk about the woman, about in the lower part, it is jawline contouring. 22, 25 G, to be honest, now in Russia and in all Europe, they use only 22 jo uh, gog, you know, uh, cannula. We don't use 25 because it's like the needle, it's not safe. Or we prefer the needle, 25 for the strong fillers, 27 for the mild. Yeah, yeah, as uh, Suzanne, we use 25 or 27. یا اینکه از کانون